Welcome to the Noreen Rial Falcone Library How to Use JSTOR tutorial. This video will show you how to use JSTOR to do research for your classes. JSTOR is a database that is especially helpful for research in the humanities and social sciences. For example, subjects like history and anthropology. It contains a variety of sources, including journal articles, ebooks, and scholarly book reviews. All sources in JSTOR are full text. To access JSTOR, go to lemoyne.edu slash library. There are links to JSTOR in some of the course and subject guides, but no matter what, you can always find JSTOR using the Databases tab. From there, search for JSTOR by name in the search bar. or find it by browsing the J section. Once you're on the JSTOR homepage, click Advanced Search. JSTOR's Advanced Search tool has more features than the basic search. These features give you more control over your search, so your results will be more relevant to your needs. For example, let's say I was writing a paper about women during the French Revolution. This drop-down menu controls how your search terms are connected to each other. If it's set to AND, your search will only return items that contain both terms. So here, I can make sure my results are about both the French Revolution and women. Meanwhile, OR returns items that have either term and items that have both terms. In the case of this search, let's say I know that the French Revolution is sometimes called the Revolution of 1789. I don't want to miss any sources that use that term. So, I would type both terms in the search boxes and connect them with OR. That way, my search will return sources that use French Revolution, sources that use Revolution of 1789, and sources that use both terms. Then I can click Add a Search Box and add the search term women. As I mentioned before, I still want to use AND to connect this search term. These limiters, called Boolean operators, are especially useful for complicated searches. To make sure the database searches for a phrase with the words together, instead of each word separately, put the phrase in quotations. You can limit each search box to a specific field using this drop-down menu. For example, if you choose item title in the menu, JSTOR will only return sources with these words in the title. Typically, the default of all fields will be most useful. From there, you can submit your search or you can narrow down your search results. Item type lets you limit your search results to certain types of resource, like books or journal articles. This is an especially useful limiter if you're searching for book reviews. You can use the title of the book as your search term and limit your search results to reviews. Language lets you limit your results to sources in a specific language. JSTOR contains many sources in languages other than English, so if you are only fluent in English, this is a useful limit. Publication date limits your results to sources published within a certain date range. It is a useful limit if you're searching for primary sources. The journal filter lets you limit your results to sources in a certain subject area. It is useful if you want to limit your results to certain academic journals. In the case of my example search, I might specifically want sources from a women's studies perspective or a history perspective. It's also useful if there are certain disciplines you definitely want to exclude from your results. Once you've narrowed your search to your satisfaction, click Submit Advanced Search. JSTOR has a second Submit Advanced Search button at the bottom of the list of search filters. Now you can browse your search results. You can sort your results by relevance or by publication date. The Refine Results sidebar lets you narrow your search results, just like the filters on the Advanced Search page. However, the search options in this sidebar are slightly different. 
The academic content and primary source content filters have replaced the item type filter. Like the item type filter, they let you limit your search results to certain types of resource, but the categories they provide are different. Additionally, you will only be able to filter for items your original search returned. For example, if your original search did not return any sources with the subject African American Studies, you will not be able to filter by African American Studies. Finally, some search options, specifically the language filter, aren't available in this sidebar. When you find a source you want to use, such as this article, click the title. You'll be taken to a screen with more information about the article and an embedded version of the article. From here, you can read the article online or download it as a PDF. You can also save a stable URL to easily get back to this article. Clicking Cite This Item opens a pop-up window with citations for the resource in MLA, Chicago, and APA style. You can also export your citations to Zotero. This citation generator is a helpful tool, but make sure you always double check your citations just to be safe. Ebooks in JSTOR work slightly differently from journal articles. Your search results will return individual book chapters that are relevant to your search. Everything you could do with a journal article, you can do with a book chapter. But the page for a book chapter also contains a table of contents with links to the rest of the book as well as a link to a page about the book as a whole. However, most sources you find in JSTOR will work exactly like articles. If you want to modify your search or start a new one, you can alter it in the search bar, or you can click Search or Modify Search to be taken back to the Advanced Search page. If you need any help, visit us at resources.library.lemoyne.edu slash ask us to talk to a librarian by chat, email, text, or appointment for 24-7 support.